Hey, what's up guys? Welcome indeed to this week's Challenge Rift Guide 175. This week we're working with a Fists of the Heavens Crusader. However, it's not going to be using Heaven's Fury at all. But anyways, let's go ahead and first off hop right into what we're working with for the build. Alright, so starting right off, we've got the uh, Aegis of Valor. He only happens to have four pieces of the set, which unfortunately, even with his Royal Ring of Grandeur, won't be working too well. But it does help out with our resource. I'll go and mouse over all the pieces of gear in case any of you guys want to go and check it out over here. But it is running three pieces of our guild, so that is kind of a nice boost. It happens to have the S of Johan, so once it groups up a bunch of the enemies, that is quite nice as you can just destroy all of them very, very fast over here. But it is using the normal fervor, so ideally you try to go ahead and utilize your Steed Charge for extra bonus damage. Our main source of damage though is going to be Fist of the Heavens, um, not Heaven's Fury. You don't even need to activate this. However, it does uh, happen to have Holy Cause, so if you want to activate it, uh, since it will be doing Holy Damage, you technically get a little bit of heal out of it. But uh, we have Cassette's Court of Righteousness, so more Fist of the Heavens damage, and then Royal Ring of Grandeur, but he doesn't have the missing piece over here, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, in terms of the skills and passives, Went ahead and mouse over those real quick, and then we'll go ahead and go into how to play this build. So all you do is make sure you go ahead and use your seed charge, and then make sure that this buff is pretty much up at all times. You'll pretty much be able to keep it up as long as there are monsters to kill, and just fists of the heavens. You can activate your laws of valor, so you can go ahead and get extra attack speed uh, with the uh, extra active of it, and increase critical hit damage. And then if you're feeling like things are getting a little bit too heaty, just activate your Accurate Champion and it'll go ahead and increase your damage and give you extra Wrath, Regeneration, and Attack Speed. So it's just overall, if you want to delete things a little bit faster, you can use these. You cannot keep these up 100% of the time. This, uh, you can activate if you want. It helps with a little bit of sustain, but you could ignore it. This, I would use when you go ahead and run into the Rift Guardian, pretty much. That's the only time I really used the uh, Shield Glare. But anyways, let's go ahead and hop right into the Rift. All right, hopping right in, go ahead and just start activating your horse. And pretty much just activate your horse as soon as it comes up, just activate it. And um, it should have a really short cooldown. You can kill some of this trash over here on the first area. And then we're just gonna go ahead and move down over here. It's a fairly straightforward rift, but um, it's just that the pathing sometimes, there's a few dead ends here with this one. But yeah, you don't need to activate your Heaven's Fury at all. You can activate your Law if you want to, your Accurate Champion if you feel like it's getting a little too dicey. Go ahead and just uh, activate it and it'll be A-OK. -okay. Yeah, the build is pretty good for survivability, pretty good for damage all around. It's probably one of the easier rifts. And that is simply due to it um, having enough damage and being able to survive. A lot of times these builds are just, it's one problem or another or resources a problem. But this one, they did a pretty good job. Granted, it would be better if they had different optimization in terms of some of the pieces of gear. But it's good enough for most people to go ahead and get this down. And come up to a power pylon that we'll go and take. And just move to the next elite. You do happen to have S of Johan, so when it groups up all the enemies, make some great use out of that. I just try to activate that once in a while so I can go ahead and get some extra cooldown on my horse, as that is a big source of our damage. Another thing to mention with uh, this build is you can cancel your animation of the horse. Like, you don't have to stay in the horse the whole time. You can use any ability and it'll just knock you right out of horse, which is totally fine. As when you're in the horse, you won't be really dealing any damage. So this rift is actually really easy. It's just the first two floors and you'll be A-OK, -okay, good to go. I'm going to come up to an elite over here. Unfortunately, this one's got shielding. So I'm going to go ahead and just pop some extra stuff just because it's just going to sit in my... Uh, damage sometimes for a little bit longer than I would like. So we got him down. And then we're going to go ahead and get to two more elites. And we're going to go ahead and grab the conduit as well. And once we have this conduit up, we can just basically just zoom on towards the elite in the pocket. There's two elites in these two pockets. Don't worry, we'll come back and grab the, uh, the rest of that. Oh, okay. The elite actually just drew himself over here. He's usually stuck in this other pocket to my, like, upper left here. It looks like we got him down. 
pretty fast. Nice. Grab those orbs and finish off the last two elites, which will just be a little farther up ahead. Get that nice S of Johan proc. Groups up all the enemies real nice for us. And hopefully we can have Accurate Champion up for the um, Rift Guardian. Get this tree down. Careful on the tree. Sometimes they spawn too much of the uh, poison things on the ground and it just becomes kind of a problem. As the build, like, it's tanky enough, but it's it's not able to tank every single hit in the entire game. Unfortunately, the Rift Guardian is spawned super far away over here. Go ahead and throw the uh, Heaven's Fury at him, just because it technically heals us a little bit. But, uh, yeah, we'll get him down real quick. You shouldn't have any problems with resource, which is really nice. And then we'll go ahead and Pony. Cancel Pony. And then he'll be dead very, very soon. And there we go. Rift Guardian down. So 344. Let's see what that puts us at in terms of the leaderboard. Okay, that's a top 7 finish. Not too bad over there. But hopefully this guide and video helped you guys out. It's a fairly straightforward one. Not too difficult at all. I just really wish that it was the thorns because as soon as I saw the horse. Now, this is getting a new huge buff on the upcoming season 22. And if you guys want to go ahead and check out gameplay of using the new variant of the Norvald's Fervor, um, I'll pin it down below. It's a thorns build. It technically got nerfed a little bit, but we'll have to wait to see for the final patch notes going into season 22 how bad and if they're going to keep those nerfs but it's absolutely insane this uh, 100 got increased by a huge amount uh in the the upcoming season 22 at least as of right now in the ptr but anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did drop a like on it if you're new here make sure you guys subscribe with that bell notification on else we'll be covering a lot more of the new things coming out in season 22 we already have a few videos out keep in mind all the information is on the ptr but uh we'll have to wait and see what they officially change and when season 22 officially gets announced and once that does happen i'll let you guys know but anyways thanks for tuning in, guys and i'll catch you on the next video have a good one i'm signing out peace